Okay, so this is what my screen looks like now. Uh, in class, we should have followed a tutorial on how to create a little paintbrush program. So on the left, you can see mine. It's uh, down doodling and I'm clearing and I'm exiting. So that should have been a nice little walkthrough around Visual uh, Basic 2010, uh, Visual Studio. Um, I've got the you can get a free version Visual Basic 2010 Express, which I've got uh, on the left there. <clears throat> so, so next I wanted to explore timers, which are a little bit different in WPF than they have been in in your Microsoft Visual Basic forms. Um, the good thing about doing stuff in Microsoft IDs, I guess, is that there's a lot of a lot of help on the web. And as you can see here on the right, I've got Firefox, and I always have a browser open because it's just you can just search um, MSDN, which is a Microsoft um, developer network, and come up with lots of information. So. I was interested in how to create a timer in Visual, in Visual Basic, so I pretty much put in how do I create a timer in WPPF, and I've got this page straight away. <clears throat> so what I'll do now is I'll just run through this quickly, um, just to just to see if it works. And then, we, so what I'll well, the first thing I should do is delete the code we, we we've got from the example. So I've switched to the um, the code view. I'll get rid of that. Uh, and then on the, the XAML view, um, I can just get rid of the bit that's in, in the grid, um, which isn't deleting for some reason. Why is that? That's because I've not stopped the program. Oh, press the wrong button. Stop the program. Right, so now I can delete this here. I've got a blank grid. And I want to follow this example. So in the example, they're just putting a text block element onto the grid. So I could drag it from. Um, ah, I can't view the toolbox. There we go. I could drag it from the toolbox uh, text block. I could drag that on there. But what I'll do is I'll just copy that, paste that into here. And now in here I've got a te text block um, called my text block. It should be my text block. Yep. Yeah. And then there's also some code here I can copy into the um, into the code view. So I click for the code view and I'll put this into my main window class. Just copy that. Paste that in here. Um, and then. I'll play around with it for a bit to get to do just so just to get a feel of what it does. Um I'll just change the code a little bit. So oh, over here we have the code um that it gave me. So the first thing it's doing is a method called start method where it's declaring a it looks like it's declaring the dispatch timer. Um I'll leave that as it is. It's declaring an integer, which that's fine. But I'll just put that at the top because I just like it like that. Uh, and then this bit, each tick, if we go look back at the XAML view, we can see that when the text box loaded, it's running this um, function, this start timer method. So um, this is what it's going to do. This is what the time the text box is going to do. So what I'm going to do is for each tick, I'm just going to increase the integer that's declared up here by one. Oh no, i equals i plus one. And then I'll just Yeah, so now this I just make the um text property of that block, this one here, equal whatever the integer is. So it should because it's increasing by one of each tick, each tick I should be getting one, two, three, four. So let's save that. Let's play that. Oh, there we go. 